the population is growing and the resources for food are scarce. There are several alarming signs that the conditions of our oceans are deteriorating. Rig and other fish farmers are depending on making sure that uh, the organic stress isn't too high. We have the responsibility to protect the ocean and life underwater for future generations. Rick Seafood's core aim as a business is to produce healthy food for a growing population. We can address this issue in several ways, but we have to be aware that 70% of the globe is water and only 2% of the food that we get on our plate today is produced in the sea. It's also a very much more efficient way, an environmental friendly way of producing food for the future. Rick Seafood currently operates in British Columbia, Shetland Island, south of Norway and then north of Norway. I'm now standing by the Alta River, probably one of the most famous salmon rivers in the world. The healthy genes from the wild salmon has developed since the last ice age, where the salmon farming has become a big global industry. Today we are producing salmon along the whole coastline, and the salmon industry is even bigger than the traditional Norwegian fisheries. With this heritage, we have a commitment to protect the wild salmon and the environment. We aim to grow our business, and today we are producing 75,000 tons with uh, salmon. Within a few years, we aim to produce 100,000 tons and even more beyond that to be able to serve the world with fantastic healthy product. Of course, as any business, we also deliver footprint. And that's also something that we have high up on our agenda, that the sustainability will be a big part of what we are doing. And we want to deliver this globe, even as it is, to the next generation. The common threats to achieve good fish health is the infection diseases and parasites. In a company like this, with millions of fish, there will always be some mortality. So it's very important to monitor the mortality every day and find the causes. We reduce the mortality rate by uh, improving vaccination strategy and breeding and feeding program. Greek seafood can't address this alone. We need to have partners together with authorities, other industry partners to make sure that we protect uh, life underwater. We are producing our salmon in the common and that gives us an extra responsibility to take care of the environment and do it in a sustainable way also for the future. It's really important for us to keep the genes from the wild salmon for generations. That's why we collaborate with a local board to monitor the situation in the river. Both Greek Seafood and Beluna see the importance of partnership. Beluna acknowledge that the most efficient way to achieve sustainable solutions are through cooperations with the different industries. And life below water is of great importance for both of us. Our aim with this project is that it's implemented by the wider aquaculture industry on how it can address the marine plastic pollution and how the aquaculture industry can both minimize its use of plastic and also with focusing on no plastic pollution entering our oceans from the aquaculture industry. Sea lice is a common parasite in these waters, but it's also a threat to the wild stocks of salmon and trout. The most important is to be ahead of the issue. We have closed skirts around our nets, so the drifting sea lice cannot enter the fish. At some point, a few will come into the cages, and if it does, then we can add lump suckers. It's a cleaner fish that actually eats sea lice. It's very important to keep the levels of sea lice low. To get rid of the sea lice, we need to use chemicals. But with our use of sea lice skirts and the lump suckers, we have reduced our use of chemicals by more than half. We need to learn from our mistakes so we can improve our methods and so we can keep on having good fish health. The organic strain from fish farming comes mainly from fish feed. 
It's harmful for uh, the environment because of the amount of uh, fish feces from fish eating this feed. Organic stress is mainly right under the production unit. Further outside, it's not so much organic stress and up to 400 meters, there's no organic stress at all. We as an independent partner make sure that the fish farms are inside the legal levels. As you can see, we are rooted in nature. We are caring for the people that work in our company. We are caring about the local society where we operate. And of course, we are also caring about life below water since that's a part of our future. We care for our fish. And we need to monitor and improve the way we work with fish health in order to give the fish a better life underwater.